Hey, 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 you're now tuning in to Underdog Talk. I'm your host, Eric Jones Jr., and I have conversations with successful people, and I have this young man today named Chase. All right, how you doing today? I'm good, how about you? I'm doing good. So you're only 14 years old. You're at a vendor's event. You're seeing all these different businesses going on. What is What are some of the things you've grasped from just being at the event? Um, that like, you can put your mind to it, like, you can live in a bad neighborhood or you can live you can live anywhere and you can still make a business to like um born to win. He he grew up on in a bad neighborhood and now he has a big pit he has a big business. He has his own line company, he has all different types of stuff. And you could really put your mind to it if you set your mind on it. Yeah. So what are what are some things that you want to do or has just seeing the different kinds of businesses has any of them like struck your mind like oh i could do that or do you already have something in mind um i don't really got nothing in mind but like i have ideas like either i can have a line company um a clothing brand or just just do something that I know I can do. So, uh, being in environment and because you're a young guy in a bad, don't necessarily be a bad environment, but it could be an environment that you can't really see yourself succeed. How do you personally think you can get out of that environment? Um, so what I'm trying to ask is like, say you got your homeboys, mm -hmm. they ain't doing nothing right. Yeah. But you got in your mind like, man, I'm seeing such and such do this, such and such do that. How do you, in your mind, keep away from those people, that, that energy in that environment? Um, Just being, just trying to be around people that you know that are doing good. And, and just distance yourself from them people. Because if you keep being around them people, some, something can happen. But if you distance yourself, you can you can come bigger than them. You can come uh, successful more than them, and you can do things that you couldn't imagine. I love that. I love that. So, being fourteen, are you in high school or about to go to high school? I'm about to go to nice high school. I just finished summer school for my uh, first high school, high school credits. Okay, so high school. What um, what's your goals while you're in high school? My goals are to make sure I keep my grades up in school. Find me a job. Make sure I'm doing the best I can in school, um, and just make sure my mind is set to for I can be successful. I love that. I love that. So, do you play any sports? Is there anything sports or something that you do that you're really great at that? you haven't pursued yet or you haven't pursued enough to see what see it through um i play basketball and football and and like everybody be telling me i'm great at basketball but like i just don't take it i just don't take it as serious because yeah. like i know i know i can take it serious because i got all the help i, I can before i can take it serious i can i have my own personal trainer all that it's just that, because everybody do basketball, I don't want to be like everybody. I want to be different from everybody. I want to do something that most people wouldn't even want to do, just because it's not their type of thing. I want to just be my type of thing. I don't want no, nobody else to be their type of thing. I, I love that answer, because a lot of kids need to be like that. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't got to do what everybody doing, be your own person. Like, when I was in school, I always dressed different. I didn't, everybody wore forces. I never wore forces. Everybody wore J's. I never wore them. I didn't, I never want to look like anybody or be like anybody. And I love that mindset that you have because a lot of young people, they follow the trend or they got to, oh, let's do this. Or, oh, my homeboys hoop, I'm a hoop. You you can hoop, but you don't really want to. And I love that. So you can always use that as a, a extracurricular activity or whatever the case may be. So what, when you finish school, what is it? Do you want to go to college or do you want to start your own business? What's, what do you want to do when you finish these four, next four years of school? Once I get out of high school, I want to go to college. I want to I want to graduate college because the neighborhood I live in, like most people, they not, most people, they, they, have, they have the mindset to actually go be it. But it's just because the area they in, they stay, they can only stay inside that mindset. So I want I want to prove all them I want to prove to all them that I 
that you can go big. Like, even though you trapped inside of a, I ain't gonna say trap, you just inside of a neighborhood where everybody wants you to think you're trapped, you can actually just just go out there and go be great. And and I do want to start my own business. I want to start my own business and finish my mom's business. Because she has her business, she has her own business right now, I want to keep it going. And I want to have my own too for when I have kids or my niece and nephew can keep it going. I love that answer, man. Uh, I love you being on here. Uh, shout out to Ace for uh, having you get on here with me because you're very intelligent. I, I love what your mind, where your mind is, and I can't wait to see uh, the great things that you do. So uh, give three quick tips to young people your age. You're only 14. Give them three quick tips what, to help them change their uh to change their situation or change at least change their mindset so that can change their situation change the change the people you be around finish school and it just be different i love that just be different uh tell everybody how they can reach you do you got social media yeah i don't be on there though it just be a lot of stuff going on so i just be in the, i just be in the house but all right that's cool yeah it's, i i appreciate that you ain't one of them people that really want to be on there just to be on there but you you different i see great things in you and appreciate you being on here and keep being great